In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a free mini scheme from the Shotgun Bunch Wide. What is up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. For those of you that this is your first video watching my YouTube channel, I want to encourage you just to watch the video all the way through, and then at the end of the video, leave a comment that basically says, you know, what's your name, and then the second thing is, what, um, what can I do to help you get better at Madden? 18. What are you struggling with? What are some things that I can do? Some videos I can make that are going to help you get better at Madden 18. All right, guys. So today we're taking a look at the gun bunch wide, and I wanted to break down one of my favorite plays in the entire game. It might be the best play in the entire game. That's the gun bunch wide, and the play is Z spot. And the reason that the one of the things that makes this play so good is the corner route to the X receiver. Um, so what you want to do to set this up is you want to basically put Jason Witten, you want to put him on a streak. You want to put Des Bryant on an in route, and then you want to leave Ezekiel Elliott on his route or put him on a wheel route, whatever floats your boat there. Your first read on this play is going to be Jason Witten. And see how they defend him. If, if no one goes up the seams, you see cover four, heavy seam coverage, then you're going to, you know, you're obviously not going to be able to throw him the ball. But he's really there as what I call a keep you honest route. What that means is essentially if they, if they play, you know, cover two and they decide to, um, you know, user this left safety and, you know, let's just say they get a little aggressive on this in route. What that's going to do then is you've got this route to Jason Witten to kind of keep them on us, to keep them going where we need them to go. So they're just not going to cover Jason Witten and you're going to be able to lob it over the top and have a nice one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker. But obviously that's not going to happen. A lot of the times you just want to look there. If it's open, throw it. If not, you need to go immediately to your second read. Your second read on this play is the corner route, in my opinion, one of the best routes in the entire game. And that's because if you throw it right, it beats every coverage in the game. So um, what you want to do is you want to throw it uh, basically at about 7 or 8 o'clock. It's down and away past lead. you got to really get it away. Otherwise, that right there will happen. If I don't get the ball... You know, two things, if I don't throw it right and I don't get the ball away, the cover four will take this away, but most coverages won't. Again, you want to throw it really, really right in that pocket. you got to trust this route. This route will get you a lot of first downs, but you have to trust it. It's basically, as soon as he breaks to the outside, you're going to throw this right there, and you're going to possession catch it. You see the defender kind of lurks to the inside. That makes this play a really, really good play. And you can really use this. Again, this corner route is the best route I've seen so far in this game. Is this right here. This little possession catch right against the cover four, which all people would agree that this is the best defense of the game. So then you ask the question, you know, how does it do against the cover two? Well, it should do just fine. The corner route should, again, um, that time the cover two did really good. It's a cloud flat probably that, that did it. The cover two, what's going to happen is if, if the corner route is covered in cover two, then the route to Des Bryant will be wide open. But basically, if you get Des out here enough, yeah, it looks like they're just going to cover that with a cloud flat. So if they go, let's just say, for example, you'll see a lot of this. People will do this, though. They'll do, um, they'll do what's called a soft squat. And if they do a soft squat, this is going to work. So basically what this means, the translation is that this means the defense has to play cover two with a cloud flat to stop it. Now, remember, if they play cover two with a cloud flat, they're not going to be able to stop the other reads. They're not going to be able to stop uh, the middle reads. And honestly, in the game, I've never really seen any play stop this corner route. The corner route's been super, super consistent for me. That route to Des Bryant is probably the most consistent read you'll have against Tampa 2. It's very similar to the play PA post. Um, we literally pretty much set everything up exactly the same. The only thing different is Beasley's now on a post route, um, and it works really, really well against cover two, as you see, this little underneath in route. But again, um, again, I would I would argue that that Z spot route, you know, is, is that little corner route will get open the majority of the time against cover two in the game. When they go cover three, same thing down and away pass lead. In practice mode, for some reason, they're defending it really, really well. And again, I'm telling you, in the game, this thing is, is money. It's very difficult to stop this. Now, if all else fails, you have, in my opinion, the best route in the game on the backside, too, which is this inverted post route. This wasn't very good at the beginning of the season, as I throw the interception there. This wasn't very good at the, end, at the beginning of the season. Um, 
you know everybody would agree just wasn't wasn't quite what it what it used to be okay now if you look at it it's set to play up here it's it's back it's completely back even if they run cover three a lot of people are finding cover three to be a better defense this year it's a high low read between des bryant and that z spot route normally if you wanted to open the z spot route up even more what you can do is take jason witten put him on a drag and then everything else is the same and this will open this uh, post route up to uh, terrence williams it'll be wide open here you'll see they'll suck down it's going to be wide open in this pocket and that's against cover four Okay, which again, everybody's going to agree this is probably the better coverage in the game. If they go to cover two, this is um, going to be open as well. You'll see he's going to come, he's going to cut in, and right in this pocket right here, that's where it's going to be wide open. Because because of the cover two principles, the middle linebacker has to go with Jason Witten deep, right? And it's going to open up that pocket for, uh, for Terrence Williams to come right underneath it. So... Anyways, guys, this is, again, this is one of the best plays that I've found. Uh, that stupid linebacker gets in the way. So this is one of the best plays that I've found so far this season. Um, what, you know, what do you think? Let me know, uh, you know, what do you think of the play? But really more importantly, guys, you can find plays like this in our premium membership. And I really want to encourage you guys just to check that out. For those of you that haven't already purchased it, um, we're getting ready to put another update video in there. And again, I just want to encourage you, no pressure to buy it, but just check it out uh, and at least give it a shot. Because again, my opinion, nothing will help your game get better than by getting the premium membership. It is the way you're going to improve your game in Madden. What it has is it comes with um, it comes with several eBooks. I think it comes with six total guides. We're getting ready to launch four more guides in there. And then it also... Um, you also get the uh, one hour update video. You also get two guides right off the bat, the uh, starter guides with uh, Pittsburgh and I think the defense we broke down with Cincinnati, which both, I mean, both of those guides are really, really good. So anyways, just want to encourage you to, uh, to check that out and let me know what you think. Those of you that are new watching this video, I want to thank you for stopping by and be sure to leave that comment below with your name and what I can do to help you in Madden 18. Thanks guys. We'll have another video up this afternoon.